Subramanu number 40. Draw the projection of the cylinder of diameter 40 mm, 870 mm. Rest on the ground on one of its base points with the axis parallel to VP and inclined 30 degree HP. So here is the simple position of the cylinder with the axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. The base is completely resting on the ground. But uh, in the next position we will put only one point, only one base point resting on the ground. It is given the axis is inclined 30 degree to HP. So obviously the base can be made inclined 60 degree to HP. So draw, take this base end, place it on a 60 degree line. We will get the axis of the cylinder 30 degree inclined. So base is 60 degree. Reproduce this rectangular shape. Take this side, place it here. Take this breadth, place it here. Then the rectangular shape, strictly a rectangle, even at the new position. So strictly follow this, try to copy these distances, make a thin line. Similarly, the center you mark the axis line. Take this distance and then follow the next to generator line. Make the outer edge extremely dark. Now name the new points. The new points you have one suffix one dash, two suffix one dash, three suffix one dash, four suffix one dash, five suffix one dash, six suffix one dash, seven suffix one dash, eight suffix one dash. In order to get a smooth cylindrical shape 12 points is preferred instead of taking 8 points you better take 12 points you will get a nice diagram now for simplicity let us take only 8 points in the initial diagram so now draw the horizontal line this is this horizontal line is for 1 and 5 similarly for 2 and 4 you have another horizontal line for 3 can draw one more horizontal line. Then for eight and six, draw another horizontal line. For seven, you draw one more line. Here also you can do the projection. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Here you can start for line one. Then for line 2, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, and for 5. So you get points for 1 and 5 at the extreme end. Then at the mid you have 2 points, 2 points each one at the top and the other at the bottom top point is supposed to be here again you can check uh, the respective two points here you can name them now so one horizontal one vertical is now one suffix one two horizontal and two vertical is two suffix one three horizontal three vertical three suffix one then 4 horizontal 4 vertical 4 suffix 1, this is 5 suffix 1, this is 6 suffix 1, then 7 suffix 1 and 8 suffix 1. You can join these points by a smooth arc. This arc should be a smooth one. Similar way you can get the same points here also. Try to join those points and get the elliptical shape in the other side as well. So you will be getting a shape like this. 
Now we will see the visibility. Go to the extreme corner. This is one extreme corner. This is another extreme corner. This ellipse is completely visible. So therefore, you can just make a dark ellipse. This ellipse can be made extremely dark. But uh, the outer edges can very well be made dark. So finish this outer edges. Outer edge is always dark. Finish it. This ellipse is completely invisible. So the remaining portion you can mark it by dotted lines. So now the shape that you get is a cylinder. So the given problem is. The cylinder is resting on the ground with one of its base point and its axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So its base is inclined at 60 degree. At the same time axis is parallel to DP. 